starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Justin Wilson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. One and oh the count. Pulled toward right center field. Nimmo is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Standing in, Jorge Polanco. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball well outside. Wilson is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. The one two sent out to straightaway center field. Nimmo is there now and he has it two gone. Stepping into the box Eddie Rosario over two with a walk for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1. Ready with the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Nimmo is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Brandon Nimmo. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Trevor May is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 65, Trevor May. First offering on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. A little roller toward the hole. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. Two delivery and he got him now with the plate Michael Conforto the right he was field sat field down field on field. strikes in his last right at bat. yeah but it was good a good change up Matty good arm action on that pitch look for him to try and stay back a little bit more let the ball get a little deeper don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here sacrifice situation here and the manager wisely brings his third baseman in to try and cut down the lead runner if it comes his way here comes the first pitch. Oh, that's out. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here's the 1-0. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. A swing and a miss there, two and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. 
Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Count remains two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And up steps the power oh, bat of Pete Alonzo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. The set and the 1 1. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's 1 and 2 now. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly in the. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Dylan Batensis will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. He's set. Here it comes, and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. One and one count now to Donaldson. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now at the plate, Luis Arias. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Nimmo is there, two gone. Digging in and looking for more, Miguel Sano. Last time through was a base hit. First offering on its way. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. A pause and the 0 2. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Stepping up now, Jeff McNeil. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The second base, number six. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly, and that's the first down. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. From the stretch. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Ew, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Nope. That misses. One ball and one strike here to the Mets backstop. 
He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In comes Kepler. He can't get there as it falls in. Up next to the bat, the designated hitter, Robinson Cano. Here's Robbie Cano now. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Now the one and two pitch. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, He's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. In the air, out to right. Kepler is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now Stepping in, J.D. Davis. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side and the count will move to one and two now. One and two, here it is. Now a check swing and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it too. And the inning is over. So stepping in, Jake Kane. He'll be the one to start things out as we begin the tenth. Here's the first pitch to him. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the tenth. At the plate, Mitch Garver hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. He's staring a hat-trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Fastball called strike. One and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hey, now. Ooh, that pitch was up and in. That's one of those pitchers' purpose pitches, right? Fastball, something hard up and in. Now he can go down and away if he'd like. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1. 
fouled away. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Full count still. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Yoannis Cespedes. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy. And Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Sergio Romo comes on to start the home 10th. And he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. He's set and the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Ball two now. Two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Two two is looked at and the count moves full. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Ah, uh, got him on the good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second Number time tonight. So the lineup flips Brandon. over and digging in, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Polanco. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. The 0-1. Possible winning run on first. One man away. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the one and two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. The second for one. Back to first. It's a double play. And we've got more baseball coming our way as the inning is over. Eleventh inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Seth Lugo comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there and he has it for the out. Digging in now, Jorge Polanco. He's one for four for the game. Jorge Polanco. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Ramos gathers it. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now it would be the Minnesota D.H. Eddie Rosario. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Fouled off. Into the wind. The 0-1. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. And it's one and two. And he strikes him out here for round number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And standing Michael in the outfielder, Michael Conforto. Right Michael Conforto. From the stretch, here's the pitch. The 0-1 delivery. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Kepler's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Help 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now at the plate, Jeff McNeil. He was a ground out victim last time up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. On to the 12th frame in this one. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. First delivery to him on the way. 1-0. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Hey. Two and one now. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Hard hit ball to second. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now batting, Luis Arias, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto is there, and he'll bring this one in. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Sano. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Two. Even a 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Riding into the box, Wilson Ramos. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. First pitch coming, here it is. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now back, the designated hitter, Robinson. Come on. Jake Marisnik will come on now and pinch run here. Robinson Cano the next to dig in. As he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. The winning run is at first base. The 1-0 lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one and one pitch. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Gone! Santa Maria, game over. We're given a big boost tonight by the performance of this man, Robinson Cano. Thanks largely to one heroic swing, he's our tops player of the game. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win.
This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Seth Lugo pitches well enough to get the W. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.